They are taking us to 24 minutes into the 7 a.m. hour. Good morning if you're joining in. This is uh, Flavor in the morning. And of course, we are always here to make sure that we are giving you some spice for all the single ladies. And you want to dedicate a beautiful song to your dear future husband. That is a special dedication to you, Megan Turena, with a dear future husband. Anyway, this is a Flavor in the morning with the one and only Susenge and... Salto V over here. All right. And this uh, is... Is uh, the hour where we bring you what is a trending or making trends on the dailies this morning in the 254. And as always, I will begin with the Daily Nation. And looking at the front page, things are not looking good. Kumeni Vilesisi, the other times, I think the other time during the reign of uh, President uh, uh, Mwai Kibaki, majority of us were not actively involved in what is happening in the 254 because at this point, um, some of us were still babies. And uh, during the reign of Uru Kenyatta, we were like, okay, he, he's here. He took after Kibaki then. But right now is when we are actively looking at what's happening in politics, all right? Mm -hmm. So the front page is talking about past audits have raised questions of uh, use of taxpayers' cash. And this is not only an audit in the grain of pre President Dr. William Samoy Ruto, mm -hmm. but also during former presidents like Mwai Kibaki and Uru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah. So the must says, a fund for every president, then loss of billions. All right. Mm -hmm. So this uh, is has been broken down into how former governments, including even the present government, mm -hmm. came up with the formulation of certain bills and certain rules and formulation of certain funds, a ways of fund, my, my hustler fund, mm -hmm. such kind of um, of uh, funds mm -hmm. that is coming from the common man, mm -hmm. but at some point it ends up being lost to do where the money goes. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And there is a clear breakdown right here. During the reign of Mwai Kibaki, there was, um, the, there was the uh, Women Enterprise Fund, there was the Youth Enterprise Development fund mm -hmm. there was the land settlement fund the rural enterprise fund and the national humanitarian fund mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and all these funds mm -hmm. uh the the summation of all these funds came to 3.3 billion 3.3 billion kenyan shillings all right mm -hmm. and so the auditor general reported that uh in the year 2019 2020 mm -hmm. the women enterprise uh, fund was still owed 3.37 billion out of which 80 million was doubtful at the time mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so you get after all this sum of money there mm -hmm. is some millions somewhere being lost mm -hmm. That was during the reign of uh, the, the late uh, President Mwai Kibaki. Now, the former president, uh, Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta, mm -hmm. he came up with the Ways of Fund. Mm -hmm. He also came up with the National Government Affirmative Action Fund, uh, which uh, there was a summation of 4.6 billion. Kenyan shillings, right? Mm -hmm. And by June 2021, more than 4.6 billion reportedly lent by the Ways of Fund to groups of women, youth, and people with disabilities across the country remained unpaid, yeah, mm -hmm. despite the expiration of the repayment period. Mm -hmm. In the same way, people defaulters, yeah, mm -hmm. the same way, unayenda kwa, what is this app in you, comrades wanapenda? In it, wa jayi app ya loans. Atala. <laughs> there is talent and there is another one. Uh -huh. I don't know. I, I, I seen, I've seen a lot of our comrades using that app. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, m they default. Yes, I'm supposed to be paying this, but they're not paying. But you know, if you don't pay, mm -hmm. like even if the government says you don't, you won't pay at their defaulters, mm -hmm. the next government is going to find any loop mm -hmm. and get that money that is out there. Yeah, for sure. Like, if you don't pay, but they have noted that if you don't pay, that doesn't mean at the, the entire year you won't pay. There is mm -hmm. a time you'll need a service for from the government mm. and they look at your credentials and man there's somewhere for you sure uh, did you did you go to uni uh on job hmm? did you go to uni with a direct entry i i no, i went to a pri private school oh uh, so i you did didn't change the other one it was and i had to mm. give a lot of things but once i changed mm. it was mm. different now. but did you did you pay did you did you get help help loans no i you didn't, didn't. Get, but i was sponsored by the government mm -hmm. though i did not apply for help mm, mm. me too mm -hmm. but uh, and, uh, you see things like help mm -hmm. there are some uh, jobs that for you to get mm -hmm. uh, uh, certain jobs you must have a help clearance I was advised that one. yeah i was advised i was told don't even if the government sponsors you and mm. tell you help is available for you, please don't take that. And mm. I was like, why would I not get free money from mm. the government? Yeah. You know what? Mimi, I was about to take it, by the way. One and day, I applied. I, I, did, I did the same. Mm -hmm. And I was like, 
if I take this thing, man, say, how am I going to repay it, first of all? And I was told by many people, the government is not going to look for you. You my, just take it. Don't pay. My issue my issue was not about at the, at the, the government will not look at my, such things. <laughs> the thing is, when I finished school and I joined uni, I was still very, I, w- I didn't have an ID. I didn't have a bank account. You get it. So I tried to apply and they frustrated me. So I refused. And I used to story in Kasema, ah, to help, Ambi. When they wanted to apply it on myself without even noticing you know, mm-hmm. so that I, I could eat that money well. Mm. And you know, people are given 60 Gs I, I, I find, uh, an and academic year. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, not everyone. It depends. Yeah, it depends. But but usually 60 Gs is... Uh, it's, 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 it's a good amount Then they divide money. it for the two semesters. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But anyway, it is what it is. So that is uh, the, uh, according to uh, the, the, the report mm-hmm. by... Um, a report, uh, the audit report by the auditors mm-hmm. under the reign of President Kenyatta was 4.6 billion. Mm-hmm. Looking at President uh, Dr. William Ruto, mm-hmm. there is the Hustler Fund mm-hmm. and the Housing Fund mm-hmm. only, mm-hmm. all right? Mm-hmm. And there is uh, the amount is 9 billion. You get mm-hmm. 9 billion. The amount the government injected into the Hustler Fund within mm-hmm. two months of its launch in December mm-hmm. 2022, mm-hmm. as some 18 million Kenyans were expected to borrow from the initiative. Mm-hmm. You get so it's the 9 million the president allocated towards um, people uh, borrowing from Hustler Fund. And, uh, uh-huh. and the, there is also the this Hustler Fund has a lot of things. If you, if you when did you get the Hustler Fund? No, I didn't apply. But one mm. didn't get. I wanted to get the money, mm. but you applied, but they didn't give you. No, it's like that, that time I had a different line, mm. and I was working, mm. <laughs> so I didn't find time to get it. Now, when I wanted to get it, I had Kumbes. I had tried to open the mm. Asla fund to mm. access it using another line, mm. and I threw that line away. So I'm like, Manze, I can't get it now. Yeah. So that is um, nine billion allocated mm-hmm. towards that mm-hmm. under the reign of President uh, William Ruto. And you're waiting to see after his reign and after, especially after the five years, mm-hmm. we'll get a report, an audit report, mm-hmm. so that we can see is this, uh, this is the government accountable to the money that they're le- they're, they're releasing out and is passing to things like Hustler Fund. And the women initiative, so doing halal pesa, all those things. I don't think people are going to pay Hasla Fund that much. Mm-hmm. I, I hope they could pay, but it's not possible for mm-hmm. people to pay. Yeah, because it is taking a lot of money in. Or, too, too much money is coming back to the government rather than going out. But the thing, the thing is, you know, this is the government, and mm-hmm. this money people were getting via Mpesa, via mobile money. You, you think people are going to repay? No, let me tell you. Let me tell you what can happen. Uh-huh. You know, this is the government, uh-huh. and so And what the government I think can do uh-huh. when there is a lot of defaulters, uh-huh. they'll not throw you into CRB. Uh-huh. They will just uh, put the thing like for Fuliza. You know, Fuliza. Fuliza, when you say, when when you have Fuliza and someone sends you money, uh-huh. they first cut the Fuliza. Money. Yeah, they automatically. The government can't do that without consulting the people. Uh, well, that was not the term. That well, was not well, the term. Well, to no, there's the you know there's constitutional right. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you see, Fuliza did tell people that that is what was going to happen. But but the thing but is, the government has not told tell to people about that. But you, people about it. You know the thing. What the thing is here, Salta is uh, mm-hmm. this is the government. Mm-hmm. You don't joke with the government. The government the, that is using taxes. And the to government pay. is not above the constitution. You know. Yeah, it is. It is not above the constitution. But you will riot. But uh, people are rioting because of the three percent for housing. Mm-hmm. You you will write and write and write and give the three percent. No, you know. Let me tell you something. If people are rioting, mm-hmm. there will come a point. Someone will go to the courts, like o- Okia or Tata, mm-hmm. and then what will happen? Mm-hmm. All that thing is going to go down if yeah. that happens. Yeah, and sometimes so if someone find... follows the right path, mm-hmm. you know, going to the street is not going to change some things. And you know, the thing is, mm-hmm. eh, you will go to this petition, this petition, and you find that you're wasting your money. No, no, no. no. You. These people sometimes you'll find Okia was a, was an activist. He you, still a, you, he, he still is. He still an activist, but right now not actively an activist the, the way he used to be before he joined politics. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And speaking of him, mm-hmm. uh, out of um, uh, uh, thirty nine uh, members, uh, thirty nine members of uh, the county assembly in their county. Mm-hmm have uh, voted to kick out the deputy governor. Mm-hmm. You get mm-hmm. the wrangles in say county between uh, the governor the Orengo the and uh, and uh, he's called Oduola Ma William. I guess those guys are mobilizing everything by yeah. the way. There's yeah. a mobilization so that they can kick him out. And you know the thing is, uh, the, the other time they were saying uh, they had a, a closed door meeting mm-hmm. with uh, Raila Odinga. You see? So it's like he has a, a, a hand in that. You so, see, you try, I, I'm sure that guy is not even that bad. Maybe mm-hmm. he's trying to open people's eyes but 
you can't you can't you can't deal with your boss that way. Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. But anyway, the story about the funds for every president and how president uh, they're saying President William Ruto is continuing uh, with the tradition of his predecessors, the same way we've mm-hmm. seen uh, mm-hmm. uh, in the Moiki Baki reign and the Uhuru the Kenyatta reign. Mm-hmm. It is a story that has been highlighted on page four and page five uh, mm-hmm. of the Daily Nation. It's still on the front page. Mm-hmm. You can read more on that. Looking at uh, page um, looking at page six, mm-hmm. there is Raila meets MPs. As Kenya Kwanza moves to save talks, right? This is about the bipartisan talks. Mm-hmm. You saw the um, the the Azimio side pulling out from the talks. They were saying no, we cannot. The do Kenya this. Kwanza, the Kenya Kwanza is calling them again. No, no, yeah, yeah. They're trying the, to save it. Yeah, they are trying to save it. But you know, the Raila Odinga is today meeting the PG, today, the yeah, parliamentary yeah, yeah, group yeah, yeah. is holding that meeting today. Mm-hmm. So among the demands that they were saying, and these are some of uh, the, the the demands that that uh, the Azimio side wants is the. Uh, uh, preliminary action against the cost of living mm-hmm. there is also the preservation of the electoral agencies that is the poll servers during the last year's presidential elections uh-huh. there is also suspension of the IBC selection panel mm-hmm. yeah and the, also the cessation of interference of Azimio affiliate parties mm-hmm. the same way we saw whatever was happening in Jubilee yeah. and uh, Akina Raila Odinga they were saying you know the Kenya council government the, and Akina Kanini Kega you mind your business what are now under Jubilee Jubilee is now under yes. Azimio yeah yeah, so these are some of the things that they are saying if they are going to de- to debate today during the, 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 the PG, that is the parliamentary group meeting. Yeah. And and whatever they are requesting for, they, it's their constitutional right. Mm-hmm. If some of the things that they are requesting, if it's possible, they should be de- dealt with. Yeah. The government, and I repeat this, the government is going to have a hard time in 2027. Yeah, for sure. If they continue just uh, mm-hmm. having issues with Azimio, Azimio is no losing nothing, you know. Mm-hmm. And its purpose is to make sure the government does not succeed. Mm. Yeah, for sure. For sure, or to frustrate government into yes. because what they but what one thing they will uh, what one thing they will never succeed at mm-hmm. is having President William Ruto to resign that because that's possible. what that's what that's they tried possible. during his <laughs> that, reign with that, the Uhuru that, Kenyatta. That it did not it did not happen. But 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 what they are going to do? Mm-hmm. They are going to frustrate the government for sure. And twenty twenty seven, they'll they'll come and say, uh, Kenyans, this guy told you he was going to. To, to lower the price of unga to 100. Mm. Now look at the price. It's yeah. almost 200. Mm-hmm. And he'll, they'll have a lot of things to to show the people. If Ruto and the government doesn't uh, watch out, mm-hmm. Azimio is here to frustrate and make sure they don't accomplish. But the thing is, you know, uh, now Raila Odinga cannot be a president. He can. He, he cannot. He can. And he can bring someone in else. He, he can bring someone else, you but know, Raila cannot run the country. What He's is a the, statesman. What, what, and, what, is uh, the, what, is, what is the qualifications? Mm-hmm. Is there something that it's limits not, a person not from an becoming issue, a president? It's, it's not an issue of qualification. Is there something that limits a person from becoming a president? It's an issue of capacity. Yeah, mm-hmm. look at what uh, I read some articles as a Masharia guy though. Mm-hmm. You will, you, you will, um, will come to have this conversation after you reading. Mm-hmm. It is um, Masharia guy though is a political um, uh, journalist uh, and an activist who writes articles on the Daily Nation mm-hmm. about politics. Read about uh, his articles and then you'll come, we'll have that debate. But um, that story about the Azimio side and meeting the PG, the, the parliamentary group meeting has been highlighted on page six of the daily nation there is a story on page eight where media owners want they want they would lose up to two billion if the, the finance bill is passed mm-hmm. this is some a story that we highlighted uh, in depth yesterday mm-hmm. and how uh, the, the 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 entails over the finance bill of 2023 and why we, others are opposing and why um others are proposing because mm-hmm. uh, there is a lot of uh, taxes that um the income tax the the the, the vat mm-hmm. i don't know what there is also even the thing of um this thing of a uh, housing fund mm-hmm. can be covered under the finance uh, bill which majority of uh, the employers are against mm-hmm. because they're saying we're going to incur losses including media bosses you see mm-hmm. these are media company owners they're saying they will lose up to two billion mm-hmm. if the finance bill is is um is passed mm-hmm. which is um it about no no job to a manga e to a timing mm-hmm. like that. So and and you know running a media company is very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So that is will be a great a, a great blow on them. It is a story that is on page eight. Mm-hmm. Looking at page twelve, mm-hmm. for Gen Z, dress code is king. Mm-hmm. 
Huh? They care less about work, money, or current affairs, mm-hmm. says new report. So there is a report that has been conducted on Jay-Z, Gen Z's, mm-hmm. and majority of the time is like these children. If you are born between the um, the late 1990s mm-hmm. and then the early 2010s, you are a Gen Z. Mm-hmm. You get. Mm-hmm. So all this Gen Z is like they say, the report says mm-hmm. you know these girls and boys mm-hmm. they don't they don't care about the money when they are coming to work mm-hmm. they don't care if they're keeping time or not mm-hmm. what they care is about their dress code ame wa luku ama jawa luku kama jawa luku atarudi kwa nyumba that's why you find a lot of people nowadays even the men even the men they change and avoid trousers ah ah and avoid ah ah and avoid cap ah ah and atoa and atoa the same way we used to do that is a, a trait of us women and, and ladies and and my dad once told me if you're not in some other profession say that required to be in uniform eh? mm-hmm. don't try and compete with your boss on how you're going to look mm-hmm. but look decent I'm saying don't try and compete with your boss on mm. how you look. Mm. Actually, you're there if your boss is wearing something, you're also wearing the same. Mm. Your boss will be like, you, man, mm. I'm paying you very little. Am I paying you a lot of money because mm. I can deduct that? Mm. I can, I have the power. Your dad is a professor. And he was like, and he was like, he was like, if if it's okay, if if he's, he doesn't deduct you money mm. or he gives you less, he's mm. going to say that you're stealing from him. Yeah. From your boss. So, sure. watch mm. out what you're doing in your office. This is what these young guys are doing. They are competing and showing how they can clad out here. Yeah. But look, look okay, look nice. Mhm. We see Uchi. Yeah, for sure. Uh-huh. Looking at page 14, there is a story about food crisis which um a report by the United Nations says that the extreme weather is set to worsen Kenya's food crisis. Mm-hmm. We already know that we have food crisis right now. Look at the prices of sugar. Look at the prices of uh, uh this sugar that is already contaminated. The sugar apparently was to be, was to be used to make ethanol mm-hmm. and we are, we are buying it from the supermarkets and the stores mm-hmm. you get mm-hmm. so the um, uh, food crisis is meant to go even higher uh-huh. according to a report by the united nations says uh, actual food insecurity is likely to worsen in the country because um, 18 hunger uh, hotspots are covering 22 Count, uh, countries, mm-hmm. Kenya is one of of, of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So um, that the report is uh, an estimate, or the the, uh, the trajectory is set to be effective from the from June mm-hmm. to November mm-hmm. of this year. Mm-hmm. So that is a story that is on page fourteen. Mm-hmm. And before I finalize on the story that is on the back page, um, mm-hmm. on page twenty six yesterday we talked about Musale Mudavadi going flying to Nigeria where he was going yeah, to uh, yeah, to yeah. represent uh, Kenya and the president. Uh, they know girl immigration ceremony mm-hmm. of um President Boyatin, Bola Tinubu of Nigeria. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, that is the story that has been alerted on page 26. Mm-hmm. They are talking about how new Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu took out of office and uh, there was the inauguration and everything. Mm-hmm. And so right now he is His Excellency, the President of uh, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, mm-hmm. Bola Tinubu. That is a story on page 26. And finally, on the back page um, is a story that I had highlighted earlier. That story before we go, that story of Bola, Bola mm-hmm. Tinubu. Eh? Tinubu, yeah. Uh, uh, Nigeria is the biggest, largest, eco- is the largest economy in Africa. Really? Yeah. No. African largest economy. <coughs> African largest it's economy Nigeria. and, uh, and Nigeria South is... South Africa. Mm? Not South Africa, it's Nigeria. Now, mm-hmm. t- uh, Tinubu uh, is the one leading that country. Yeah. And he's, uh, other facts, he's the 16th president yeah. of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. After yeah. Buhari. And also, uh, the, the other person who was sworn in was the 15th vice president of the Republic of Nigeria. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's All right. people are there, by the way. So many people, so is many statesmen from other countries. Yeah, for sure. It's the same way you saw, like, during the... You, you see, one thing about Africa and what I like about uh, Africa mm-hmm. is the fact that if there is things like we're uh, reinstating governments and presidents and mm-hmm. all, all these uh, presidents, they come together to mm-hmm. experience that and witness that so yeah. that in case of anything, we can know who to, to hold to account. And by the way, you know... The, the people are trying to find out how is this happening in these countries mm-hmm. nowadays it's very uh, uh, like the previous years it was very tough to see a president giving mm-hmm. giving the power to another person yeah for sure like uh, now my time is done I need to give to us another the same yeah. thing Uhuru did mm-hmm. it was very tough 
Uh, it's like the way Ugandans are waiting to see what's happening in the power. Yeah, sure, for sure, for sure. There are mm-hmm. some, uh, there are some uh, African countries where democracy has not yet been embraced as it should. It is there, but, but they don't, they don't really consider president part of the democracy. President yeah. is something else. Yeah, it's above the law. Yeah. But anyway, it is what it is. It's mm-hmm. a story that has been alerted on page twenty-six. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is on the Daily Nation, and finally on the back page, mm-hmm. say MCS vote thirty-eight to one to mm-hmm. kick out deputy governor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 38, yani ni watu 38 against you, one person, to kick out the deputy governor. So, after them, after them, uh, the, the process is usually after they approve the, um, uh, the, 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 the the debate and everything after the vote because it's, uh, it's, it's like an overwhelming majority right there. Mm-hmm. It is um, the debate that will be take, taken to the Senate mm-hmm. and then there was now the impeachment that mm-hmm. will be going down and then if the senators approve then he'll be impeached. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what's up on the Daily Nation. I will keep always insisting that grab yourself the paper so that you take a look at what's happening on the editorial cartoon is usually a beautiful message that is passed right there and uh, yeah that's mm-hmm. all about uh, the daily nation and uh, just before we get the standard uh, listen to this you are listening, you are listening to flavor in the morning <laughs> nothing but the best flavor in life politics and entertainment best, best. music Tune in every Monday to Friday at Radio Ara. Flavor in the morning on Radio Ara. On the standard, we go directly to the two main stories. Mm-hmm. The first one, Ruto is facing taxes rebellion amongst Mount Kenya MPs. So elected members from uh, leaders from Deputy President's backyard are an are an easy. Lots after attempts to make them embrace new tax measures have fallen flat. Locals instead want taxes reduced to make life more affordable. Mm-hmm. Now, that is in page four, and uh, now this is what is happening. Eh? There's a certain Gadoni wa Mushomba, he's uh, from Kiambu, mm-hmm. yeah, maybe yeah. a woman rep or something of that yeah, sort. Yeah. And, uh, uh, she's saying, eh? We are not in the era where the government war world was what we are not in the era where the government world was final. In this century, we need consultation, not just thumping. Yeah, like mm-hmm. if the government was to do things, they come, they tell the people, now you know what we have this, and if it's not going to work, you sit with us, you tell us how you want us to deal with it, and maybe we come with a conclusion or a a, a, a term that we can all agree on. Mm-hmm. They are trying to say no, these 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 taxes, no, they are not going to make uh, life easy for the for the for the common one, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry. That story you can page it. On, you can find it on page four. The other story is African largest economy in hands of Bola Tibunubu. They are the one we are talking to. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't have a lot of stories now. The other story that have st- uh, caught my attention is the shillings. Twelve Kenyan shillings, twelve billion cost of national surveillance system project awarded to China. Mm-hmm. You see, that's not new. <laughs> A few days ago, a few days ago, we did talk about how China's mm-hmm. had had hacked some of our systems. Mm-hmm. But now, uh, twelve billion cost of national surveillance system, the mm-hmm. system that are going to su- surveillance the national mm-hmm. the national things, a lot of them, eh, has been awarded to a China firm. Mm-hmm. So hacking claims put Kenya at center of mm-hmm. U.S. China Cold War. If the government is awarding China. And uh, and a few days ago, there was a allegation that there was a hacking. Hacking, yeah. So it's very tough to know what is happening. Mm-hmm. Incident last week caught us. Uh, last week there was an incident. Eh? Mm-hmm. It spotlighted on the high stakes competition between farms in the scramble for multi billion shillings infrastructure. So not only China wanted to have that uh, that uh, that tender, because the US wanted. Mm-hmm. And other firms wanted to be the to be providing providing civilian system to the go, mm-hmm. uh, to the government of yeah. Kenya, mm-hmm. but the the government awarded the, the Chinese. China. And you see, there's something that is happening between China and the US. There's mm-hmm. a time there was a surveillance. Was it they they in were Iran. saying they were saying it was a balloon that was for at was for weather checking for weather forecasting, mm-hmm. but <laughs> US blew it down and said no, this one was not for weather forecasting. Mm-hmm. It was having cameras and it was surveilling. In mm, the mm, US. Mm. Now there, there's a lot of cold war between China and the US. They are oh, exchanging sure. words. There's tension up here and there. Mm-hmm. And Kenya is at the center. If this is what is going to work, Kenya has 
Kenya, you know, the good thing with Kenya, mm-hmm. even if two countries are, are at war, the Kenya has the, uh, the the ability to do business with the country it was. Mm-hmm, yeah. Like, for example, US is fighting with, the, let's say, another country. Mm-hmm. Kenya can decide, well, if they need you both are fighting, mm-hmm. we need something from Kenya, mm-hmm. and from, from US, mm-hmm. and do you want something else from China? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's nice, but uh, with this, is how is this putting Kenya, which place is Kenya being put mm-hmm. between these places? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can find that on page two. The other story, uh, Ruto. President Ruto hints at visa-free entry for Africans. He's trying to make it that you can go to any African country without a visa. Uh, that will increase uh, trading and uh, uh, tourism. And people can know Africa in general. Mm-hmm. But that one is just a hint. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So on page 6, there's this. Uh, that story is on page 27. On this page, 20, uh, page 6, there's an, an analysis. Uh, someone by the name Dennis Kabara, he said, I'm increasingly convinced and confident that Kenya and Kenyans have fine ideas to fix our economy. Mm-hmm. Our politics need to become forum that gives gets this going. Mm-hmm. But there's this guy who's giving his own opinion and he's saying, eh? mm-hmm. so many Kenyans uh, and uh, Kenya and Kenyans have ideas. Mm-hmm. Not only do we have to pay a lot of tax, but if you go to Kenyans, there's other ways that can increase or uh, fix our economy. For so sure. what the government need to know to do, uh, go to these people who are doing good out here, they are running their business as well, and find they, are, they have opinions mm. and very good ideas. Have, have you ever listened to, there's this guy, let's come to, back to the industry, there are people who have, uh, like for example, media. Mm-hmm. Media is a very big uh, uh, industry. industry. Yeah, and uh, I listened to this guy called Abel Mutua on an interview he mm-hmm. did, eh? mm-hmm. and I was like, "This guy is so amazing. Mm. He's smart." Because the government can be creating a lot of opportunities, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. but for how long? For how long are they going to create those opportunities? Mm-hmm. And this is what Abel Mutua said. Uh, you can empower the youths or the creative industry. Mm-hmm. And when you do that, you're going to bring in a lot of job opportunities. Mm-hmm. For example, he did say about movies. Movies are a very big industry. Mm-hmm. Why? First of all, before you shoot a movie, uh, first of all, you need equipment. Mm-hmm. Is purchase of equipment. Eh? The government will support that. Uh, you buy equipment. You're going to hire producers. Because that movie has to be shot by producers, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You have to hire screen uh, script writers. You have to hire directors. Mm-hmm. You have to hire editors. Mm-hmm. After that, you need you need uh, scenes where th- those things are going to be shot. Sure, yeah. So you have to hire what uh, constructors who are going to create the scenes and the places where that is going to happen. Mm-hmm. Those people who are who are acting, they need clothes. Yeah, you have to hire tailors. Props, yeah. You have to hire tailors or uh, designers. Mm-hmm. Those people need to eat. Mm-hmm. You have to hire people who are going to bring in food. Mm-hmm. There are so many things that an industry brings. Mm-hmm. And he was given an example. There's this company, a media company, mm-hmm. that has hired a thousand people. Mm-hmm. And all of them are receiving salary from that company. Mm-hmm. So if the government is able to, uh, to motivate the um, in, uh, entertainment industry, that is all. Mm-hmm. That can fix our economy by the way. So many sure. people are going to be employed. Mm-hmm. But they thought, uh, I've seen people saying that, uh, Kitambo, you are trying to tell your, your parents, Manze, I want to be a artist, Manze, mm-hmm. I want to be a dancer. They mm-hmm. will be there. Can you don't remember that advert? Mm-hmm. That advert was on TV. Mm-hmm. Mommy, I want to be a rapper. Mm-hmm. And then, Lapa? Mm-hmm. Nonsense. You don't remember that advert? No. <laughs> really, that really, it still rings in my head every time I want to tell my dad, you know me, I want to be a creative. Mm-hmm. I want to be like that. But um, I, I've had uh, the best support from home. Mm-hmm. Because if the, back then, then, then the notion about even being in media was just like, this is, is this a career as well? Mm-hmm. You get? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's this guy who sang a song like, eh, eh, mm, 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 eh. Rubani and Naima, Iki want a coo, Iki want a coo, police. Police was a record. Neither police. Police and Naima. And that is happening on this. Mm. You've seen Samido is an officer, but mm. still he's a very good, talented artist out here. Look at uh, Omanyale. No, Omanyale is a constable. Mm-hmm. And he also. Omanyale. Yeah, Omanyale is a constable. You and see? He's, and he's, a, he's an athlete. 
and you see, like if it motivates those people who have talent is mm-hmm. going that is going to fix a lot of problems mm-hmm. apart from that the other people out here who have greater ideas than that of mm-hmm. artists mm-hmm. there are people who have ideas man say we can build something there yeah, yeah. so this guy is saying he can, he Kenyans have ideas mm-hmm. uh, politics need to br- b- become a forum that gets things going mm-hmm. Dennis Kabara on page 6 there mm-hmm. uh, the other story um, it's uh, the other story is on county uh, let's let's hold this to banks or case there's this bank that now has allowed nairobi nakuru highway loan to proceed and now uh, there's going to be maintenance and widening it's going to be a dual carriage of nairobi nakuru highway that is good Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the final story is on epl epl season now is english premier league now is done Mm -hmm. and these are the top 10 these are the top 10 people um, uh, teams Teams. that has uh, get uh, received those top 10. Yeah. Number 1 was Manchester City who mm-hmm. were crowned the champions a few days ago mm-hmm. with 89 points. Yeah. Number 2 was this uh, team called Arsenal with mm-hmm. 84 points. The bitterness <laughs> in your voice. There was this another team Manchester United mm-hmm. number 3 with 75 points mm-hmm. there was number 4 Newcastle with 71 points mm-hmm. there was number 5 Liverpool with 67 points there was number 6 with bright uh, number 6 was, was Brighton with mm-hmm. 62 number 7 Aston Villa with 61 number 8 Tottenham Hotspur mm-hmm. with 60 number 9 Brentford with 59 number mm-hmm. 10 was Fulham with 52 and these these I have to mention this small team over here there's number no Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea, Chelsea that is, number last. That, that is small team. Chelsea oh, number forty-four. Oh my god, number last. Number four, number two, number twelve. I mean, hey. well, that was the fixtures. Is a suffering for me. Which team do you belong to? Chelsea. I uh, nah. <laughs> 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 number last. Hey, I come top. Okay, I know you. You usually support the team that wins. Yeah, for sure, for okay. sure. That was the but I, but um, but I like um. You know, for for like World Cup, mm-hmm. I like. I wouldn't say I like. I like two. Mm-hmm. I like Brazil and I like and and I like. In fact, I like four. We, uh, okay, give me give me the four. I give you the four. Mm-hmm. Uh, number one, uh, uh, Nani of France. Mm-hmm. Number two, Croatia. Mm-hmm. And number three, Portugal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, let me give you those three. You don't like Argentina. Argentina, I can't even buy. You don't get Ben Oko Kwa. They were they, 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 they were crown champions uh, last time. No. Yeah, Argentina. Look at Argentina. The last World Cup. Yeah. Well, the last World, World, World Cup was France. You, qu- I remember qu- when you qu- when you when was the last time you watched World Cup? <laughs> well, it was France. Yo. Because I remember. What when, when was the last time you didn't watch? I don't know. Watch? I don't know. It, well, uh, it was last year World Cup, manze. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was but Argentina. But I'm not talking. I'm not talking about last year. I'm talking the other year. The other before the before the last years. I'm talking about Argentina. I'm not oh, talking, I'm oh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Argentina. That was before. You see, uh, that was the the the, the, Argentina, yeah. the second last. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was. France, it yeah. was a heated game between Croatia and mm-hmm. France. Man, say that France. was bad. That yeah. was fire. Mm-hmm. And Argentina did. Uh, Messi now is the crowned champion mm-hmm. of the World Cup. Mm-hmm. Man, say. Yeah, for so sure. So personally, I do support a few. Uh, well, for 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 uh, for for World Cup, I do su- I do support. Your best uh, athlete. All all African teams. Mm-hmm. All African teams. I no. do support African teams. First of all, if I was are supporting all African teams and Morocco, Morocco, the Moroccans uh, disowned us. They said they are not Africans. They belong well, to the Middle East. Well, uh, w- one of the the teams that I really support, Sana, mm. is it's this one, Nigeria. They they are called the Eagles. So what is the name they? They support Senegal. And they Senegal and they is Egypt. Mm-hmm. Those three teams. Egypt ni wakali. I know I know about Senegal. I've, I've watched their game. I've also watched Nigeria. Mm-hmm. I've also watched Morocco, which they they're like we don't belong to you. But yeah, those guys are so uh, well. They are not. Uh, they are not basically black. Mm-hmm. They are like they are from the Middle I, East. Yeah, mm-hmm. that is the origin, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's, it's okay. They say they are not Africans, but mm-hmm. they are Africans, you know. And the way all the Africans were praying for them. Manze. Every, one, every African was just like Morocco to the world. Manze. Then boom, wanapata kiboko. Then yeah. they start. But well, it's okay. 
But you okay. can't did their part. We prayed for them. Yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. a very big shout out to all of you who mm-hmm. are on Radio Net and those of you on www.crdio.com and those of you on ninety nine point two FM across Germany. A very big shout out to all of you. We love you. Mm-hmm. If you have any clarifications that you might just be needing, mm-hmm. you can talk to us on the WhatsApp line zero one zero four two five eight zero three five zero one zero four two five eight zero three five and across all the socials don't forget to use the hashtag flavor in the morning at radio r 99.2 fm on instagram radio r fm underscore on twitter radio r on facebook and of course radio r fm on tiktok and on youtube we vibed some luchi and uh, brandy minor with higher and then we'll be back in a short while this is flavor in the morning with the one and only susenge and Salt of v over here and of course this is your home of african music <laughs>